starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Timmy. Yes, Mom? Are you still hammering nails into that pen? And the gate's rickety. But if there aren't going to be any puppies, you won't have any need of a puppy pen. It's all Lassie's fault. I went to all the trouble to build this pen, and now she's not going to have any babies. We mothers get blamed for everything, don't we? Look, dear, I know it's a big disappointment for you, but I think you better take it down. It's just going to be in the way now. Besides, look at poor Lassie. She thinks you're angry with her. She knows I love her all right. Well, I don't see is how anybody can be much of a mother without any children. Good nursemaid, all right. Lassie, where's Paul? All but talk, don't you? Hi, Paul. Oh, Henry. Well, what brings you over this way? Well, I got a little business proposition for Timmy. That is, if it's agreeable to you and Mrs. Martin. Oh? I got to go east for a couple of weeks, but my problem is a new litter of puppies. Now, my hired hand's going to have enough to do without a bunch of puppies to worry about. So I thought maybe that Timmy might be interested in tending them for me. You know, I've got a feeling you won't have any trouble convincing him. Lassie, where's Timmy? Well, there's your answer. Come on. Oh, uh, Timmy. Hi, Timmy. Mr. Enders has an interesting proposition to make to you. What's a proposition? Well, it's kind of an offer. A business deal. Timmy, this is what I had in mind. You remember those hunting dogs of mine? Oh, of course, I know you're partial to collies. And I would be, too, if I had one like Lassie. Well, uh, let's go out to my car. Then you can decide after you see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yes, sir, puppies. Six of them. Are they yours? That's right, and that's my problem. See, Timmy, these are valuable dogs. But I don't want to sell them until they're a little bit older, but I've got to go away for a few weeks, so I need someone, someone that likes dogs to look after them while I'm gone. Is that the proposition? Sure is. Now, I figured that if you'd board these puppies here while I'm gone, then I wouldn't have to worry about them. And Lassie could keep him out of trouble. <laughs> now, Timmy, I had a little disappointment of my own last week. Those puppies lost their own mother. So you see, it works two ways. Now these puppies will have Lassie, just as if she belonged to her. Pups are soft and warm, aren't they? Yeah. Dad, you know what I'll be? And Lassie, too? We'll be puppy sitters. <laughs> Timmy? Yes, Mom? Supper's waiting. I still have one more to dry wash. Do you think this will really take the old kennel smell off? Oh, I don't know. It's the only thing we can do. They're too young to be given a proper bath. I brushed and brushed and put powder on. When the 
can. It says it's supposed to work just like a bath. Did Lassie sniff them again? She just turned up her nose and walked away. <laughs> well, at least you're getting them all clean. Tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll help you with the last one after supper. That one's Tubby. And this one I'm gonna call Wiggle. Gosh, Mom. This job could be so much fun. I know, dear. Go on, dear. Wash your hands for supper. Paul! Supper! Paul! Where is everybody? Mrs. Martin! Oh, Timmy! Hello, Henry. Mrs. Martin. Hello there, son. Hi, Henry. <laughs> How goes it? Say, I forgot to give Timmy the calcium formula. Now, you'll understand there, Mrs. Martin. It's all written right out there. Builds up the pup's teeth and bones, you know. <laughs> You don't look very cheerful. Those hounds of mine must have been chasing your chickens around. Well, Henry, I'm afraid this isn't going to work out very well. It's Lassie. Her nose is a little out of joint. She barks at them. Oh, 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 oh there's nothing. Every dog has a jealous streak. She'll get over that in no time. Won't you, girl? I hope so. I've never seen her act quite like this. I thought she'd be delighted with the puppies. I don't understand it. See, we even dry wash the pups to get rid of the kennel smell. Are you leaving today? Well, I'm afraid I was just about ready to leave right now. Well, we won't hold you up, Henry. Bye, sir. And don't worry. I'll take real good care of the pups. Good. <laughs> well, Have a nice trip. Thanks, thanks. Uh, goodbye, Jimmy. Bye. You worried too, Paul. Well, it's a responsibility, Henry. The way Lassie's been acting, if she gets out alone with one of the puppies and we're not around, why, it's possible she might even hurt one of them. No, no, no. I know dogs, Paul. Mark my words. Lassie will be fussing over those pups before you know it, like an old mother hen. Ah, so long, Paul. Let them get in with the ducklings. You should have seen the breakfast they ate, Mom. They're growing already. How was Lassie with them? Oh, I left her in my room this morning. All she wants to do is sleep. Oh, no, here she is. Come on out, Lassie. Good 
They sure like her, don't they, Mom? <laughs> oh, Lassie, couldn't you wag your tail just once? Come on, gang. Time for the exercise. Stop that. Kimmy, why don't you... Paul, wait! It's all right, isn't it? What happened? Timmy, you just can't leave these puppies loose around the barnyard. There are other cars coming in off the road, and there's machinery. I was just trying to leave them back at the barn to play with. Well, maybe that's not far enough to keep them out of mischief. Lassie, what's the matter with you? What if you didn't run over? Dear, I, I think this is going to be too much for Timmy. Too much for me, too. I'm afraid this puppy-sitting job is more than we bargained for. Lassie, I'm afraid you're going to have to go in the house. All right, do what Dad tells you. We're just going to have to keep them apart. It's all right with me. The way she acts. And I bet it's all right with the puppies, too. When I go into town tomorrow, I'm going to get some extra heavy wire fencing. We're going to have to build an outside runway for them. But that'll cost more than I'm earning. Well, it's the only thing we can do. And in the meantime, you're going to have to find some other place to exercise them. Oh, what about the north pasture? Yeah, I guess you could take a couple of them over there at a time. I'll take them all in my wagon. Any way you want to, Timmy. Just keep them out of here. Well. Now that's solved for the time being, anyway. Come on, pups. Into the barn first. Come on in. Well, it's your own fault. Don't you understand how much Timmy needs you and how much those puppies need you? Just because they're not yours, there's no reason for you to act like some sort of a crotchety old... Oh, I'm sorry. I understand how unhappy you are because you don't have puppies of your own, but... Well, after all, they are puppies. And they do need care. Now, couldn't you just... Well, just forget about yourself and make friends with them? Just for Timmy's sake. Couldn't you just be you again? Because until you are, you're not to be allowed near those puppies.
if she hurt? She wasn't hurt. There's not a scratch on her. Well, then what happened to her? Why was she so still? Well, actually, it was exhaustion from overdoing herself at this time. But she's fine. They're all fine. They? All? Well, Doc Weaver just took an x-ray. Looks like she's going to have a nice, healthy litter. I thought you said there weren't going to be any puppies. Well, I'm not the first vet to be fooled by nature. Is that right, Lassie? Did you hear that, girl? You're going to be a mother after all. She's going to have pups that really belong to her. Well, do you suppose that's why she was so... Uh, Jealous? So, yes. No, she was just trying to make you understand what was going to happen, that's all. Think how she must have felt when she saw those other puppies. You know, Timmy, animals always have a reason for the way they act. You can generally figure it out. With patience and understanding. Well, it's up to us people. These poor things can't talk. I'm sorry, Lassie. <clears throat> Doc Weaver has an idea that he thinks will solve Lassie's worries about the kennel, too. the size of those puppies. I still feed them four times a day, Mr. Enders. Oh, I don't mean those puppies. I mean these. Timmy's really taken wonderful care of your dogs, Henry. And so is Lassie. Didn't I say they would? The best puppy sitters in the business. 